Hello everybody, this is Prem Kumar here, author of Journey from Zero to Hero. The one who does not use their rare human incarnation for liberation, his life is an utter waste. Sri Ramakrishna Paramahamsa. In Brazil, there was a boy named John, born to a very poor family. He struggled to complete 10th standard, then joined a college with the help of some philanthropists. During his college days, he was drawn towards football and started playing it. There were many players better than him. Thomas, the coach, was a very strict man. Every day when John played football, his old father would sit on the, on the bench in the stadium and observe him play. A few days later, there was an inter-college football competition. John practiced very intensely. Even then, his desire to be selected for the competition did not come true. His college team entered the finals. Only three days were left for the final competition. John did not attend the college for, for the two days. He came to the college on the third day, on the day of finals, just before the match commenced. John approached the coach and requested him to give him a chance to play. But the coach did not agree, replying that the team was already in finals. He could have not included at this stage in the main team. The match started and John's team suffered a setback. One of the players was badly injured. The coach had to give John a chance to be as he is the only substitute in the team. As John came on the field, he became completely changed. He played the match and scored four goals. John's team won the finals. John became the superstar within no time. There were big celebrations. Coach Thomas hugged John and asked him how he could be able to play this with such strength, which he never showed earlier. He also inquired about his father, who was not present at the venue. John replied with tears in his eyes that his father was born blind. His father was visiting the stadium every day only to encourage him, sitting on the bench. Two days back, he passed away. Hence, he could not attend the college for the past two days. John became emotional and said, Earlier, my father would see my game with his inner eyes. Today, he saw from heaven with his eyes wide open. I got tremendous energy within me, which helped me to win the match. Masters, like this above story, the Lord will be seeing us every moment with his eternal eyes. We have to live every moment with a lot of enthusiasm. Let's not fear misery, rather transform misery into a blessing. We have to face it with all courage and confidence. Let the supreme power hidden beneath us manifest itself. Remember the Lord seeing us with his eternal open eyes. Meditate upon these words. Thoughts are the magnets which fill energy into possibilities and attract the situations and people you desire. Even in undesirable or unpleasant circumstances. Think positive. Sri Ramakrishna Paramahamsa Sri Ramakrishna Paramahamsa had great obsessiveness towards God. 
He used to see God in every being. He hailed from a village called Kamarapur Khar and was serving as a priest in Dakshineshwar, close to Kolkata city. Even in the midst of distractions of the city, he led a spiritual life and became a role model to others. As per his words, if we want to know the existence of God, then we must have keep some time to dedicate it for it every day. We have to watch our thoughts as a witness, rise above our weaknesses and fears, develop a deep trust towards God and be detached like water on a lotus leaf. Sri Ramakrishna Paramahamsa gives an example. If you want to cut a jackfruit and then you, you must put oil to your hands before doing it so. Then the glue of the jackfruit won't affect your hands. We will not lose ourselves in the worldly life as long as we are seeking the Lord. Paramahamsa says, if we live spiritually, there is no need to run away elsewhere. The place where you sit is a temple. If there are activities such as meditation, prayer, self-study, good company, positive thoughts and philanthropy, your life will be transformed. Spirituality does not mean bookish knowledge. Rather, it is the art of living every moment with awareness. Spirituality is a way of life. Spirituality is not a religion, nor worshipping, nor being ritualistic. It is a way of life. Spirituality means connecting to oneself, service to mankind, patience, being meditative in all our activities, living with integrity, listening to our inner voice and develop the virtue of encouraging others. Spirituality makes one's mind balanced, bring kindness, yoga, meditation in our life. Mainly adopting the world as one in our lives and giving unconditional love to everybody. Whatever field you are working or intend to work and reaching the highest peak in your work, spirituality means developing open-heartedness developing the purpose of life, keeping a deep trust in the existence of God. The great universal poet of Kannada literature, Rashtra Kavi, Vishyo Manava, Dharma, Propagator, Kuempu has written a poem named Aniketana, the unhoused consciousness. It reads as follows, O oh my spirit, become unhoused forever. O oh, my spirit, become unhoused forever. Transcend all forms, transcend all identities. Even as sentiment pierces the heart, O oh, my spirit, become unhoused forever. Blow away a hundred castes, transcend the limits of all philosophies, rise beyond horizons. O oh, my spirit, become unhoused forever. Do not stop anywhere. Do not be bound by narrow walls. Do not be content in reaching the finite. Be eternal. My spirit become unhoused forever. The eternal always remain eternal. A yogi, yogi becomes eternal. You are eternal. Be always eternal. Be, 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 be eternal. Oh my spirit become unhoused forever. Rashtra Kavi, the poet, has conveyed that we can attain realization by transcending our spirit and elevating our self-consciousness. Last word, meditation is very much necessary for realizing ourselves. Meditation is like a lamp lit on the threshold of the house. The lamp gives light to both outside and inside. Similarly, meditation deepens both our outer and inner awareness. 
a real sadhaka achiever is the one who brings about total transformation the real achievement is when we remove our mask and become uh, our true self we must know the naked truth that we have come empty handed into this world and we must go back with the same empty hand thank you